Hello Euroboxers, Happy New Year. Okay, it's happening. It's January 2023 and all the national finals are coming. We have the Late Late Show Eurovision special on Friday, February the 3rd, which will select Ireland's entry to Eurovision in Liverpool in May. All of the songs have just been released, one of which is called Midnight Summer Night by an artist called Connolly. This one, I'm going to give a listen and let you know what I think, but before I do that, make sure you like uh, this video. Well, you have to watch it first, I guess. And then subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you stay up to date with everything that's happening with Eurovision this season. Also, you can head over to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all the places, and make sure you follow us to stay up to date with everything that's happening in the Eurovision world before it happens in May. So, yes, like I said, I'm really excited to listen to this one. There's something quirky about this song, okay, for without having listened to it first. First of all, there is very little to be seen online about this artist, Connolly. Very little online profile. All we have is a YouTube video of this lyric video for this song, Midnight Summer Night. Also, there's very little on Instagram or she is, she's basically off the radar. And that is just really interesting to me. <laughs> she seems like an enigma. Also, when I read her biography and the description of the song, it makes me think this too. And also the imagery used for the video art is very, very uh, eerie. So it's setting a mood already. So, Midnight Summer Night was written one night during the pandemic when Litter Malin's Jennifer Colony, so she's from Litter Malin in Connemara, in the west of Galway, West Ireland, was just 17 years old while wow, she's very young, so I believe she's 18 years old now. Currently in her first year of creative music production at IADT, which is Sound Training College in Dublin. Uh, she has a passion for music she was, since she was a young child and um, this song plays with themes of nostalgia, the passing of time and using her vocals to tell that story. She says the song conveys confusion and overwhelming detachment, but overall the song implies that nothing bad lasts forever, delivering a sense of hope. So wow, it's giving me very spooky vibes already. So this is an enigma. Connolly, who are you? Where are you? We want to see you. Um, so yeah, let's jump in and give this song a listen. Play. Okay. So this is a very eerie intro already. This is from another world. This is really spooky. Um, I really, it really affects me when I hear these type of songs where someone's narrating their own thoughts. There is a sense of, um, yeah, wrestling with your thoughts. This swell, this musical swell, and that eerie, pitchy sound. Wow. Wow, I like this anthemic repetition of this. Lord Almighty. Wow, this is a strong chorus for me. Make sense of it now, please tell me how. Into the second verse. So what I like so far is that the first verse she's being very introspective, narrating her own thoughts and then it switches to something very very powerful in the chorus where she says, I don't know how I can make sense of it all, how can I make sense of it all. The percussion is awesome, it's very disjointed. Everything in the verse is very disorientating. And then we get the chorus. I love that call back to the bridge. I don't know if I could. The call back to the bridge. Very hooky, very repetitive and in a memorable way. Oh wow. I love this kind of lilting sound. It reminds me of Dolores O'Riordan from the Cranberries. Very distinctly Irish. Um, a style of singing called keening, which has its roots in Irish mythology. Wow, I feel like, even the studio version, I feel like I'm hearing it at a music festival. Hold on, girl. 
Wow. That fade to near silence, which was the background music and her singing these lyrics. Don't let go of this world, cause time is racing. These lyrics are powerful. Wow. Rule a boss, round of applause for Connolly. Well done. Midnight Summer Night by Connolly. This is something completely different. I have never heard a song like this in, let alone in an Ireland sele Irish selection from any other uh, country. It's really standing out to me. Um, it gives me so different, so many different vibes and so many different themes. I could say that it's like a Lana Del Rey, Rey song in the verse. I could say that it's like a Coldplay anthemic rock song in the chorus. I could say that it's like um, Taylor Swift at some points. Uh, I really like that the chorus is uh, very strong, very powerful. Um, it builds on the lyrics that have been put in the verse and she really addresses the listener directly like I don't know if I can make sense of this, please tell me how. And it kind of reflects all of the, um, the sense of disorientation that is built during the verse and then she narrates her own thoughts, she's having a difficulty with many different things that she's explaining that's going through her thought process, processes at that time. And then in this chorus, really strong guitar sounds, drum sounds, the, the volume just ramps up and she directly says to you, um, I don't know how, please tell me how, uh, makes, I, I don't know if I could make sense of it now, please tell me how. For me, there's a simplicity um, which I recognize is really good. Sometimes some of the best Eurovision winners have been really, really, really simple songs when you look at them. The structure of the song, the melody, the lyrical breakdown. Very, very simple, but very, very effective. Things like, um, well, it's a different genre, but, but Satellite by Lena, that was a very simple song, but it had a very clear message and something that could be clearly engaged upon. And this is something really unique. Um, enigmatic, introspective, eerie, uh, powerful, disorientating, a sense of uh, agitation, a sense of agitation that is built throughout the, the verses and then released in the chorus. So wow, I'm so impressed. I think this is my favorite that I've, I've listened to. This is the third I've listened to. I think this is my favorite so far. So well done, Connolly. I can't wait to see it live, actually. I really need to see this live. I would like to see a very artistic, atmospheric staging that reflects the mood of the song, something very, very dark. So yeah, I think this is one to watch and I can't wait to see it on the Late Late Show Eurovision special Eurosong 2023 on Friday the 3rd of February. Let me know what you think in the comments. Am I on my own with my thoughts about this song or is it as good as I think it is? Let me know and we'll talk again soon. Goodbye.